Hey everyone, it's Ryan Chapin here with Sensei Frank to bring you another class. We're gonna start off with our warm up, which is our 10 point exercise. And it goes something like this. So Sensei Frank's at attention. He's gonna start with the first two points, which is a jumping jack. One and two. Then he's gonna do three, squat down. Four, kick back. Five and six, a push up. Seven, he jumps back. And eight, he jumps in the air. Then he lands in his horse hands. Nine, 10, punch, punch. So it's a jumping jack, a burpee, a push up, and two punches to make 10 moves. So again, this time by the count, ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Good, one more time. Now if this time, you can try to practice your Japanese with it too, so you can count in Japanese. So sensei, ready? And etch, ni, san, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, Q, jib. One more time. Itch, ni, sun, chi, go, roku, sichi, hachi, Q, jib. All right, now I want you to do at least 10 of those to get started. Now, All right, so now we're gonna work on our first drill today, which is our blocks. Now, last week we did our basic blocks, high, middle, and low. We're gonna do some middle block variants. So the first one is called an inside block. So your hands are up, Sensei Frank's hands are up. He's gonna take a fist and he's gonna bring it arm across his body, blocking towards the inside. And then he switches. So he's hitting with the pinky side of his arm. So again, dunk, cross, and go, dunk, and go, dunk, and go, dunk. So if I were to attack him, I punch, dunk. He wants to bring it across so this way he doesn't get hit, dunk. And that way, you're... All right, so now we're gonna build onto that inside block. So Sensei Frank's hands are up, he's gonna throw his inside block out, and then he's gonna throw an or shoot to right after that. Dunk, boom. So again, his hands are up, Inside block and chop. Dunk. Again, inside block and chop. Dunk. And you can try the other side too. Inside block and chop. Dunk. Good. So the attack comes in, he throws that inside block and he just chops right back. Good. Other side, inside block Dunk. and chop. All right, now you try. Good. All right, so next variant of the middle block that we're going to do today is the outside middle block. So we're going to have our hands up like this. We're going to Make fist, make an X, bring our hand out like a middle block, but we turn it so our pinky side is out. Just like that. So again, hands up, X, and twist it out. And out, just like this. It's not as strong as this middle block, but it is quick. So it's a faster middle block. Okay, so outside middle block on the left, outside middle block on the right. Do it both sides, go. Dunk, go, dunk, go, dunk, go, dunk. All right, now it's your turn to practice. All right, so now we're gonna build on to that outside middle block that we just did. So, since Frank's hands are up, he's gonna do his outside middle block, and then right from there, he's gonna do in a multi shoot to chop. Dunk! Very quick. So again, he blocks and chops. Dunk! And then again, block and Dunk. chop. See how he's doing both sides? Make sure you practice both sides. So go. Dunk! Go! Dunk! Go! Dunk! Go! Dunk! Good, so the attack comes in, I throw a nice strong hook punch, he throws that block and just chops Dunk. right away. No hesitation. All right, now you guys go. All right, next thing we're working on today is some Eskrima. Now, Eskrima is just a short stick that we use to defend ourselves. So, you're gonna hold it a little bit from the bottom. You're gonna have your right foot forward, left foot back, left hand up, stick holding it out like this, from your hip all the way up to your opposite shoulder. This is called Eskrima stance. So, Sensei's in his Eskrima stance, getting ready for the first two strikes. So, he chambers it all the way behind his shoulder, and he strikes to the side of the head. Dunk, right to here. So, and then he chambers to the other side, and does the other side to the head. Dunk. So he chambers, strikes one. Dunk. Chambers, strikes two. Dunk. Chamber one. Dunk. Chamber two. Dunk. One. Dunk. Two. Dunk. One. Dunk. Two. Dunk. One. Dunk. Two. Dunk. All right, now you try it. Go. All right, next two strikes. So we're in our scream of stance. Right foot far, left foot back, hold the stick on that angle, make sure that hand's up the whole time. Since he's gonna chamber to his right shoulder, and this time he's gonna hit low to the leg. Dunk. Right to the knee. Then he chambers to the other side and hits the knee on the other side. Dunk. So chamber, strike three to the knee. Dunk. Chamber, strike four, other side to the knee. Dunk. So again, three to the knee. Dunk. Four, other side. Dunk. Three. Dunk. And four. Dunk. And three. Dunk. And four. Dunk. And three. Dunk. And four. Dunk. And three and four. Dunk. Dunk. Good. Now you try. All right, last two strikes that we're going to work on. Since he's going to go into a stance. Same scream of stance as we did before. This time, number five, he's gonna pull it back slightly and then he's gonna poke it straight up. Dunk. As if to hit under to the chin, right here. Good, and again, so he pulls back 
and stamps it up. Done. And this hand is covering right here. Then he's going to chamber nice and high, and he's going to strike down to the head. Done. Almost like a sword strike. So again, five, he stabs. Done. Six, strike to the head. Done. Five, stab. Done. Six to the head. Done. Stab. Done. To the head. Done. Five. Done. And six. Done. Done. Five. Done. Done. And six. Done. Done. Five. Done. And six. Done. All right, now you try. All right, now we're going to work on Ocho Ocho. Now, it's pretty simple translation. All it just means is a figure eight. So you're going to hold this time at the end of your stick. You're in your same stance. You chamber one side to your shoulder and you strike it down. Then it comes straight up to your chamber and strikes down. So each time it goes chamber, strike down, chamber, strike down. And it just flows into a movement that it looks just like a figure eight. And then as you get better, you can reach it out more and keep trying to strike it farther and farther away. Working your ocho ocho. Just be careful not to hit anything or anyone around you. All right, so now it's your turn. Practice your ocho. All right, now we're gonna work on some levels. So white belts, you're up first. We're gonna work our stances. Now the stances are pretty easy, but if you can learn them in Japanese, that is awesome. So the first stance we're gonna practice is Shizen. So sensei's in Shizen, at attention, ready position. Nice and simple. Next one is Shizen Tai. Legs apart, one hand makes a fist, you grab your wrist and you just relax. So you're at rest. So again, Shizen at attention, Shizen Tai at rest. Good. And then last one, our ninja stance, Katate. So Sensei steps back with his right foot, bends his right foot more than his left one. His left one is still bent though. His right hand's over his heart, his left hand is straight out. Both hands are in your shutos, your chops. And he's in a good ninja stance. So one more time, first one, Shizen, Shizen Tai, Katate. Good, and again, Shizen, Shizen Tai, Katate. Good, one more time, this time face sideways so they can see a little bit. So first one, Shizen, Shizen Tai, and Katate. All right. All right, orange belts, now it's your stances. Again, if you can learn the Japanese, awesome. So first one, arms out to the side, called Hira or like when we do our Taisabai. So Hira. Next one is Hoko. Sensei steps one foot back, hands are up, like he's saying stop, right before we do our blocks. So Hira again, arms out, and then Hoko, arms in front. Next one is Kosei. From Hoko, he just drops one hand, so one hand is a by the head, and one hand is by the belt. Up and down stance. Good, then the last one is Doko. He says katate, but then he just takes his right hand, makes a fist, and puts it right by his chin. It's almost like you're doing your fighting stance and your katate at the same time. So again, one more time through the whole set. Hira, Hoko, Kosei, Doko. All right, orange belts, now it's your turn to try. All right, yellow belts, now it's your turn. We're going to review our Boken routine. So Sensei has his Boken. He's going to go into his first dance. Stance number one, he's gonna do the first routine, which is poke and cut. So go. Hey! Cut! Good, and back. So again, he slides up and pokes. Hey! And he steps in and cuts. Cut! Good, one more time, turn sideways so they can see. So slide up and poke. Hey! Step in and cut. Cut! Good, so that's poke and routine number one. Now, number two. Since he's gonna set stance number two, poke uh, and stance over the head. So he's gonna step in and cut. Hey. And slide up and poke. Jump. Kind of like the last one, but you just reverse it. So again, go. Hey. Jump. Good. From the side. Hey. Jump. Good. Last one from stance number three to the side, kind of like a soldier. He's going to step in and cut one on the angle. Hey. Then he steps in and cuts on the other angle. Jump. Kind of like he's drawing an X. So again, go. Hey. Jump. Good. One last time from the side. Steps and cuts one and two. Hey, jump. Now it's your turn, orange belts. Make sure you have plenty of space to practice. <laughs> All right, green belts, we're gonna work on our Eskrima check drill now. We're only gonna do the first two because if you know the first two, the rest are pretty simple. So you're gonna start feet together into your Eskrima stance. You're gonna step up and do strike number one, which is going to turn out to be block number one. Then you check with your hand, chamber your stick, and strike number one again. So again, Sensei does a block, he checks, he chambers, and strikes. Done. And then to do the second one, he just chambers the other side, steps in and blocks, checks, chambers, and strikes. Done. So again, block, check, chamber, and strike. Done. It's the same strike, don't change the strike. So 
With a partner, it should look like this. I go to attacks and say blocks, checks, chambers, and strikes. Then does it again on the other side. Blocks, checks, chambers, and strikes. All right, green belts, now your turn to try. All right, blue belts, we're going to work on our padded book. Uh, ah! Keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going. All right, Blue Belts, we're gonna work on our padded sword fighting. So, since he has his padded sword, he's gonna go into his sword fighting stance. So the first move we're gonna work is stab and cuts. So he steps in and stabs, and then he cuts. Duck. Notice how fast it is, because it's sword sparring. You wanna be fast, you don't wanna be slow to get to the points. Ready, go. Duck. Stab and cut. So again, go. Duck. Good. Next one, he's gonna do block and cut. So he blocks and he cuts. Duck. Good, it could be to the other side block. Duck. Being the high block. Duck. Just make sure when the attack comes in, you block it and cut right away. You don't want to pause in between. Next one is a feint. No, a feint is a fake out, or you trick them. So, since he's going to raise it to one side, and then he switches to cuts. You can go the other way, too, if you want. You raise it, and then switch and cut. So you just kind of fake them out and cut. And the last one is the triple cuts. It could be the one, two, and three in any order that you want. X, X, and down. Go. Cut. As long as you're getting three cuts quick, because remember, you gotta be fast to try to get that point. The more cuts you do, the more likely you'll get a point. Go. Cut. Again, go. Cut. All right, now your turn, blue belt, start. All right, purple belts, we're gonna work on our padded bow fighting. So you're gonna set your padded bow fighting stance, cross and bows. It's just like the padded sword, but now you have the bow to work with. So the first one is stab and cut. You're gonna slide up and stab, and then swing around and cut. So again. Slide up and stab, swing around and hit. Good. Next one is a block and hit. So you block up high and then swing it across to hit. You can even go to the other side, block and hit. Or you can even high block and then hit or stab. Good. Then you have the feint and hit. You bring it back as if you're going to hit, then you swing it around. You can even bring it back ready to hit and then stab it. As long as you do a big out move and then it hits. Then the last one is the triple hit. One, two, three. Sliding each time. Remember, bow staff has two sides you can hit with. Use them. Slide and hit one, slide and hit two, slide and hit three. Triple hit. Now it's your turn for belts. All right, brown belts, we're gonna work on some hold escapes. Now normally you do this with a partner, but you can practice these in the air if you have to. So the first one is tackle defense. I'm going to be facing Sensei. He's gonna go to tackle for my legs. I don't wanna get tackled, so as soon as he goes to tackle, I step back and place my hands on his shoulders to stop him in a front leaning stance. Then I take my hand close to his head, I pinch the neck, I elbow to the spine, and then my knee that's back, I throw a knee strike, pushing him away. So watch one more time, he goes to tackle, I step back and push, pinch, elbow, knee. Now if you're doing it in the air, it's step back, push, pinch, elbow, and knee. Next one is bear hug defense. So I'm here, since it goes behind, and does a bear hug over my arms, crushing me in the process. I don't want that to happen, so I go to horse stance, bring my hands up, and push. I bring my right foot to the left, bring it behind him in a horse stance, and I just turn, try to look at him. Pushing him over my leg. So again, he goes to bear hug me, horse stance, push, feet together, behind, and I just go to look at him, try to see where he is. Pushing him over my leg. So it's here, horse stance, push, together, behind, and twist. Last one, full Nelson defense. Since he goes for a full Nelson under the arms, pushing my head, I don't like that, so I stop it. Catching his arms with my elbows. I reach one hand up to the head, grab the other one to the head, sidestep, and then just roll him forward. So again, he goes for the full Nelson. I stop it, go in my horse stance. Reach one hand up to the head. Then the other. Don't do both at the same time. And then I roll them out. So again, horse stand, stop, head, head, side step, throw. So now your turn to practice, Brown. All right, so now we're going to work on our activity. Nope, keep going. All right, so now we're going to do our activity for the day. All you need is a partner and a deck of cards. What you do is you shuffle the cards, put them on the table or wherever, and then your partner is going to tell you an exercise to do. So he's gonna tell me jumping jacks, then I have to pick up a card and see how many jumping jacks I have to do. I have to do 10 jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, and then it's my turn to pick for Sensei. He's gonna do ski jumps and then he draws a card. He has to do 
six. Six ski jumps. So he does them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Good. And you just keep playing back and forth until you run out of cards. Now it's your turn. 